Hey everybody, Ronaldo Waffman here with the ADJ Airstream DMX Bridge Video Manuals. In today's lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about programming your moving heads. Now in this case, we're going to use the ADJ Inno Pocket Spot Twins. I know that's a very popular fixture, so I've had a couple of requests to talk about that. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and patch it. If you have not yet seen the video on that, please make sure to refer a little bit earlier on the playlist. We're going to go into our channels, and just like the other video, you'll see you can start controlling it right away. Now you can control the channels individually, so there's our first head and our second head. You can also go ahead and grab them, so I'm going to click on the top upper right hand and click on the pan and tilt, and I can just grab both of them at the same time. Now notice that even though they were already in different locations, they automatically go in the same spot, and if I want to center them on the bottom right hand, it shows me that location there. On the bottom left hand corner of the iOS screen you will also see your coordinates just for easy reference. One of the things I really like about it is how fast and instant instantaneous the response is. So we're going to go back to our channels here and we're going to go ahead and turn on our dimmer. Now we are using 23 channel mode. There's also a 19 channel mode available as a default profile. I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up. And you can choose a different set of colors. Now, the color wheel would obviously not work for this one. At least, uh, not like you would think because there's no color mixing. So we're going to go back to our color. And you know what? Let's do, let's just do purple on that one. And we're going to do, or actually we'll do blue. Now, you know what? Let's do half and half. All right, so we got some basic colors chosen. Let's go ahead and choose a gobo. All right, and we're good to go there. You'll actually see that we have everything pointed at the top. Now, at this point, I'm going to make an effect for it, and making the effect for the Inno Pocket uh, Spot Twin or any particular moving head is pretty easy. So once again, we need to go into our shape effects. Now, with the shape effects, there's a couple different ways of programming it. Super easy, and this is one of the things I really like about the Airstream DMX app. The first way is to do a circle. So I'm just gonna make a circle, I'm gonna hit run. And we can speed it up, so we'll speed it up a little bit. We can reverse it. Now at the time of doing this video, there is no phasing option yet. Uh, that should be coming in pretty soon. More info on that when it does come out. Now with a circle, we can make it larger. We can make it smaller. And we can move it around as well. This is really good if you want to hit just the dance floor area. So you can draw just the area around the dance floor that you want to hit. The next part is doing the points. Those of you with DMX software should be pretty familiar with points. And you're just going to draw where you want them to go. Now, in this case, we're going to leave it like that. And we're going to do a box all the way through. Again, we get a nice instantaneous response. Notice that it bounces back and forth. And a lot of you may be wondering how you can close that gap. Well, let's go ahead and clear that for just a second. We're going to draw that one more time. Okay. And now we can just hit close. And it closes it there. We hit run. Now, at this point, we can also pinch it to make it smaller. We can enlarge it. We can move it around. Again, with instantaneous response. And now my personal favorite. Let's go ahead and clear that one more time. We're going to go to the middle tab, which is draw. And that's exactly what you think it means. You can draw in a circle. And we can close it. So I'm going to hit that little close button. Hit run. But let's do something a little bit more advanced. And one of the things that I want you to notice as I draw is how it remembers the relative speed of my finger as I draw it. So I'm just going to do a medium size or medium speed up, then really fast down, slow up. I'm going to stop for a second, really drag it slowly, then real fast, then fast down. 
Notice how I'm moving my finger all the way across there, and now all sorts of crazy. And close. Now let's go ahead and hit run. Now it's on reverse, so we're going to hit forward. Now watch what happens. When it goes to the beginning, we're actually started drawing. Okay, there's that medium speed up. Now, of course, we can speed up or slow down the relative speed of the entire show. There, it goes down quickly. Now, it's going to stop for just a second where I just barely dragged it. There it is right there. Then it goes real fast, then down really fast. Well, once it comes down, it's going to come down pretty fast. There it goes. And then it's going to be where I just went all crazy drawing all over the place. So again, the Airstream DMX bridge and the Airstream app memorize which way you move, not only move your finger, the location, but also the relative speed of it. Once that show is created, then you can speed it up or slow it down using the uh, actual speed icon or the slider bar down below here. Can you edit a actual program that you made or effects as far as redrawing it? No, you cannot. You can edit it as far as, you know, remaking it and overwriting it and later modifying the scene. You are able to do that. But I can't sit here and delete part of it that, you know, I didn't like how I drew. You just have to redraw that. So again, once you have that, just like in the last tutorial, we're going to save the effects. But, you know, I realized I don't like that at all because that looks horrible. So we're just going to make a circle, spirally, spiral, spiral, done. You hit run, and there it is. And I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and save that effects. And I'm going to click on my second one. Now this is a shape effect, and we are going to call it swirly. For the button label, I'm going to hit swirly as well. Make sure you click done, because if you just click save, it's not going to save that button name. So you always want to click done right here on the keyboard. And now we're going to hit save. The file has been saved. The shape effects. If I go back to my effects tab, there it is right there. Now as it selects that, if I realize I don't like these, you know, let's say the colors that I chose, I want to change the colors of the gobos. So I'm going to grab the gobos here. I'm going to do a different one. All right, so there's a gobo that I like. Maybe I don't like that particular color either. All right, so now I've got something that I like. I'm going to go into my Scenes tab, and we're going to save it. Now, remember that all you got to do to save is click on Assign. And you're going to hit the Empty tab. We're going to call this Pocket Swirl. And the actual button label is going to be the kind of like tropical colors that I chose is going to be called Tropical Swirl. I'm going to call it POC for pocket. And we're going to go ahead and click Save. Now, remember I didn't hit that Done key, so I need to hit Done so it actually saves it. And we're going to click Save, overwrite it. There it is. Notice that the keyboard didn't pop back up. When it popped back up, it's because I never saved it, or actually saved the file name. And there it is, Pocket Tropical Swirl. Now, I'm going to go back over here for just a second. Let's move this forward. And right now, I have the NL Pocket Spots running wired out of the Airstream Bridge DMX box. And I have the QA5 running wirelessly as I hit the 4SO program. And the Pocket Spot, I can run them separately. Or if I let go of that solo button, I can run them together. Allow me to cue my scene or stack my scenes together to be able to do a little bit more with my shows and have more creativity, especially when busking them live. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions, comments, anything like that, please make sure to leave them below. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. God bless.